Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of the Roco Ultra. This is the HDR compatible, 4K compatible, HD compatible streaming media player. The HDR is the contrast control. If you do a search on that, you'll see that's a new standard for contrast control. Now this is a, a powerful feature packed media player, streaming player. Um, very popular brand, uh, highly rated for their streaming. It includes a JBL set of headphones that connects to the remote so that you could privately listen at night and not bother other family members. Now there's an HDMI 4K port on the back we're going to show. There's also a internet port, a wired internet port on the back where you can stream wirelessly with dual band wireless. The remote is a uh, voice remote compatible and should be able to control your TV power and the volume on the remote once you tell it what uh, television you have. Now this supports 4K content with, uh, as I mentioned with HDR that uh, contrast control technology. Um, 30 days you get free sling as long as you activate between April 27th and July 7th of 2019. Also has a remote finder uh, and has USB and micro USB ports on the device. It has a night mode where it will lower sounds that are strong and it will raise lower sounds which is typically called compression in the technical aspect of it and that allows you to listen more quietly, not to affect, um, affect other family members. Now this works with Alexa and Google Assistant and you have access to over 500,000, that's a half a million movies and TV episodes, which is really impressive. So let's open the box up. It's the first time I'm opening it up right here. And the first thing I noticed is how small this is. I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be the size of the box approximately. So here's everything that came in the box. You have the player itself and you have the remote which has the headphone on there and there's your volume controls, the OK button, Hulu, Sling, ESPN, Netflix and on the back you have your battery holder right there. Pull, push it back then lift it up. You have a power supply for this unit which has a mating plug that fits and there's the JBL headphones very nice and lightweight very soft with some additional earbuds and a quick user's guide. Now I want to show you the back of this because a lot of times they don't show too much about that. So first of all before I do that you can see there's a USB port right there and you can probably do updates that way but if you look at the back you have your, your internet wired port right there and then you have your HDMI and it'll support the 4k and there's your uh, USB I'm sorry your little uh, micro U That looks like it's a uh, port for an SD card. There's your HDMI, HDMI 4K port. And it also says micro SD. Yeah, so that's your micro SD port right there. There's your DC power in. So when you use this, you notice there's no audio on this. So the audio is going to have to be extracted from that HDMI, which is on the cable. The, make sure you use HDMI cables that are 2.2 compliant for the, uh, the uh, software that has um, detection on there for copyright protection. So make sure in your whole system you use that. I'll have links to all the cables that I purchased that will work with this and as well as the projector I'm going to be using this with. So just look in my links and you can see all those products. Click on them to buy those. Not sure what that button is there, but it has plus on there. Not sure what that does yet. But that's the basic unit. Very small. 
And I noticed back here there is a reset button that is built into the rubber right there. Camera's probably not picking that up, but there is a reset button right there. So it comes with a quick start guide, which gives you the basics of the remote and setting it up and the connections and so forth, like I described. Now, if you want to do wireless, you can go through the menu and this will become wireless to your Wi-Fi network. I'm going to be using the Ethernet port on here and uh, it's a little bit faster, maybe a little bit more reliable. But you have a choice right here. You can do hardwire or go wireless. As I mentioned, the Quick Start Guide has everything about getting set up and it talks about you have to activate your account. So they do have a link right here. It's roku.com right slash link. On the back of the sheet, it says, need more help to get start. And they have a, a website you can go to. You can watch video tutorials, wireless help, getting the most out of your Roku streaming player, adding channels, mobile app, tips for streaming for free. So they've really uh, set this up quite nicely on your computer or using your mobile phone to get access to all this extra support. This player is highly rated for a very good reason. The software works really well and the simplicity of the interface is what's really important. I like the included headphones. I'm not sure I'm going to use that in a movie theater because I'm always going to be blasting the sounds in my speaker. I'll, always, I'll also have the links not only to the projector I'm going to be using, also to the 4K amplifier. And that's something I want to go into that's never explained anywhere. The audio I mentioned comes out of this port right here. So if you're going to a television and you're willing to use the audio on a television, you'll be able to get audio out of this port. If you want better sound, you're going to have to take the optical port out of your TV and get one of the little converters that'll convert it to uh, 2.0, you know, two-channel sound. Or if you want to have surround sound, you'd have to go to a surround sound amplifier, an old analog one. What I'd recommend is what I did, and if you're going to have multiple devices like this plus a PS4 or anything else, a uh, Blu-ray Blu player or a Comcast box, you're going to have to switch these signals. Now this is no longer a simple thing because this is 18 gigabits per second. This is a very high speed signal. So to effectively do that, you can buy some aftermarket products. They're not that good. The best bet is to buy a 4K amplifier that is going to switch multiple signals. Now, if you're just going to one TV, you're all fine. But if you're going to be switching multiple devices like this, plus a Blu-ray player, like I mentioned, or some kind of a game console, you're going to need to be able to switch that. Unless you have to stand up and change the cables. So that not only are you going to need the 4K compliant cables, which I have a link for, but you're going to need a way to switch that. So that would be a 4K amplifier if you want to have a good surround sound in your house. If you are happy with the television speakers, you can go directly into your TV with that. Just wanted to point that out because that's never explained anywhere. I've been searching for that for a month and did not find that information anywhere. So, so what do I think about this player? Well, I tested it, I used it, it works really well. I've had both Roku players before. I've had this model before, the previous model that didn't have the headphones. This is a great player. I think you're really gonna like it. You can see by the reviews how well it does. So I'm gonna give this product a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.